Okay, so this is a, uh, a shot of one of the analog power supplies that we send out to the kits with the with the kits to the students. Um, it takes about uh, 12 volts on the input from an AC plug pack, 12 volts AC, uh, rectifies that and you get uh, 5 volts and you get a plus or minus variable voltage supply on here up to plus 15 volts and minus 15 volts down here. Little green LED indicates that there's power being supplied to the unit. Doesn't necessarily mean that these outputs are working. And what happens sometimes is the students uh, short circuit the output to uh, ground and it overloads the, um, in this case, it overloads the 5 volt regulator. Down here, it overloads the uh, power transistors and they burn out. So I'm just, uh, just showing that little uh, unit that we make in house. Uh, we mill out the board with our printed circuit board milling machine um, and we make the labels ourselves. The label story is pretty interesting. This is an older unit and actually just has a, a, a printed sticker on here. Uh, we did make a few uh, cases by milling in the uh, lettering on the plastic with our PCB wall milling machine, uh, but that was overloading the milling head cutting through the plastic and uh, fortunately when the, when the milling head did burn out we were within our warranty so um, we could replace it but um, nowadays what we do is we use this um, white labeling material and we mill into that and it's a lot easier on the milling head and we put that labeling material so it's, uh, it's wood with a, a white paint coating on either side um, so I'm just just show you the little AC plug pack we get that from Electus, that uh, was a bit quick, so I'll just move that back a bit. Bring that back a second. Yeah, so that's a power tech, uh, 240 volts to 12 volts AC. You can almost see the catalog number there, MP, I think that's a 3626, but you could easily with those specs find that on the Electus website. Um, Incidentally, this is a, one of the ways I like to make a video is I do my raw video record and then I just play it back uh, like this. So I can basically pause, rewind, and I'm using the uh, the old Screencastify video capture software and that'll have my little put that picture of my face in the corner there, which is quite a nice uh, personal touch there. Now, I've undone the screws in this because this one needs repair. Actually, the uh, five volt regulator needs to be uh, replaced. Uh, let's put that away. And I'm just showing you the underside or the internal uh, components of that board. Now, this board's basically soldered directly onto the uh, metal terminals of the uh, banana sockets you can see on the top there. So on the flip side of that, those banana sockets are soldered on to the board directly. Um, it's a little inconvenient though when it comes to maintenance. You have to desolder about seven connections, seven joints uh, before you can replace any parts there. So who knows, maybe we will redesign this in the future. But that's just a little intro to our, our AC uh, power supply. You can see there, by the way, there's a little circuit breaker. I think that's a 1.5 amp AC circuit breaker. Now that's meant to protect the supply side um, from overload. So that will trip and protect the uh, transformer. It doesn't always work though. Uh, sometimes I get uh, blown AC plug packs as well. So there you go. Thank you very much.